Hey guys, welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well this target here is the LaRue Tactical Auto Resetting Target, model is TG1. Now the reason I'm doing an individual review on this target is I've had a few of you over the last couple of reviews that I did, the 44 Magnum and also the Savage 308, I was using this target so a few of you wanted to know a little bit more about it. So what we'll do in this short review is just take a look at a few more of the details and the specs on it and give you an up close uh, look at it and then we'll go on and show a little bit more footage of me actually shooting at it. This is the target here. So as you can see it's uh, fairly hefty. I mean, it's, it's, it is quite heavy. It's uh, almost 33 kilos in weight or 72 pounds. It's 32 inches wide and 28 inches tall. So it's not a small target and definitely as I say very hefty. The reason why it is is because you've got uh, 3 eighths of an inch um, thick AR500 hard armour plate steel. So you can imagine that's where the weight comes in from there. Now the good thing about it is it really takes quite a beating. Um, you don't have any assembly with it. There's no assembly whatsoever. There's also no wires or uh, anything like that that you need to um, put together for you to be able to use it in the field. It's just a complete standalone unit. Now how it works is just this uh, plate part here, there's a motor in here and it's um, basically you charge it so overnight you just charge the uh, target and then it'll auto reset up to approximately 1800 times so I mean that's a fair amount for the actual charge. So ideal obviously if you're um, looking at uh, shooting at long distance there's nothing worse than shooting a target and then having to walk out a couple of hundred meters or several hundred meters to reset it. This will actually reset by itself after about nine seconds. So very very handy for those of you who are uh, training in long distance shooting or any LE or military guys or organizations this is definitely a great target to look at. Now let me just uh, talk a little bit about the distances with the calibers here because that's just something you need to be aware of. Even though it is AR500 hard armor plate steel, you still have to adhere to a couple of minimum distances for different calibers. So with the 223, because it's a fairly fast moving caliber, you need to make sure this target is a minimum of 100 meters away from where you're shooting. However, then when you go up to 308, the actual minimum is only 50 meters because obviously it's slower moving. So you've got to adhere to them. Um, if you go up like higher calibers, for example, 300 wind mag, you want to have 150 meters absolute minimum distance. And then same if you go right up like 338 Lapua mag, then you want to make sure 200 meters. Uh, the 50 cal really isn't that applicable here in Australia unless you are in uh, the military or something like that. Uh, this target isn't designed for 50 cal. They've got another separate model that's designed specifically to take the beating that the 50 cal hands out. So in saying that, let's have a look at it a bit closer here. Just around the side, there's actually a switch and you have to look right down. So all you need to do is you just need to turn it forward and it just switches on. And that's pretty much it. The plug here is just a, a safety plug there that just pulls out and that's where the connection goes in for you to do the charging overnight. So that's it. It's so basic in its operation. So now, for example, if we're out and we're shooting, target just falls back like so and look at that just comes straight up and that's it so once again if it was hit again straight down it's taking its time this time to come up it is as I said supposed to be nine seconds so that first one for some reason came up pretty much straight away but there you go approximately nine seconds and up it comes again. So the good thing about it obviously it, it is weatherproof so you can actually leave it out. Um, you know the rain and, and wind and all that sort of thing isn't going to bother it whatsoever. And you can spray paint it. I mean I've had it painted yellow. I've just sprayed it uh, orange so it really stands out at distance. Um, you know, if you're in law enforcement or military and you're looking at specific sort of training, I don't know, perhaps you could put some sort of paper target or identifier on it or, or whatever you like. Um, it's just really good because it is actually just so robust. Now let me just uh, go in, I'll go to a few clips now of me shooting at it. And as you remember, uh, here I am with a 44 Magnum and I was uh, shooting at it and it took the beating no problem at all. Um, 
those minimal distances that I gave you, they were with regards to rifle calibers. If you're actually shooting a pistol, they advertise that this target isn't affected by distance with pistol calibers, so you can have them 25 metres, 50 metres, whatever. It's not going to affect the armour plate. So as you can see there, the 44 Magnum's a lot of fun playing around with that on this target. And now if we move on there to the 308, I had this out at 500 metres, so this will probably show more of a typical scenario of what really the target is designed for, and that's for long distance sniper training. So as you can see here, um, just a whole heap of fun, and even at that distance, even through the scope, you can clearly see when you've hit the target, and you can also obviously see that it's been knocked down, and when it resets as well. So overall it's just a whole heap of fun this target and especially if you are military or law enforcement uh, organisation um, it would be very very handy tool to uh, train your staff with. Okay so it's just going to be a short review guys as I said I just wanted to give you a close up look at it. Now down to the bottom line what the price of it is. Most of you will know overseas in the states it retails for about $1600 however it's about twice that here you're looking at about $3200. Now, it's expensive, that's my only uh, negative or dislike about it, extremely expensive. I guess you've got to weigh up, well, how much does it cost to ship something over from the States that weighs, you know, pretty much 33 kilos. So there's a bit of money added on the top two being here in Australia. However, if this is what you are looking for and what you definitely want or something that you're going to get continual use out of, then hey, you know, maybe it's worth the money to you. And especially if you're in some sort of uh, business or organisation where you can claim it as a tax deduction, then hey, you know, I guess it would be more value for money. But overall, it's a really good target. Um, on the positives of it, I love the fact that it is uh, weatherproof. I love the fact that it just auto resets and, uh, you know, I can put a target up at 100 metres or even out at 1,000 metres and I can just shoot at it all day long and it's just going to keep resetting for me. So it's just perfect. And the fact that you can just uh, charge it overnight, that's just a great feature. You can go to sleep, wake up in the morning, it's fully charged and you can take it out for use again. All right, so we'll wrap up the review, guys. Once again, thanks very much for watching, and let's hope all this weather clears up soon because I've got a whole heap of new reviews all lined up for you. But I'll notify you about that on my Facebook page. So till next time, take care. We'll catch you then.